Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to XCOM 2 Legacy Operations. We are playing the DLC, the newest one of XCOM 2, and today we're looking at the last of the four runs. It's titled The Lazarus Project, and we are going to play, as always, on Nightmare Difficulty, blind playthrough, first uh, time that I am attempting the missions. Here we go. So here's a story Shen probably didn't mention from her various excursions off the ship. The time she was captured by Advent. Yeah, that's right. Captured by Advent. This wasn't that long ago either. Just a few years back. The aliens knew the Avenger was out here somewhere, and they started getting real desperate to find it. They even assembled a special extraction team, almost like they were trying to mirror our tactics. The Advent Squad was grabbing senior resistance targets for interrogation, and Shen had the misfortune of being one of the first. Shut up. Or so we thought. Advent's Black Bag Squad had taken Shen to a compound out in the middle of nowhere. I took charge of the rescue myself. If anything had happened to her, well, you can imagine. In hindsight, I was definitely worried. We really had no idea what they were planning to do with her. Alright, complete the objective, uh, 30,000 plus we do have 22,500 in enemy kills, <sighs> that's a lot, it, that looks like 12 enemies, I'm not sure if we do have the firepower to do that, we got um, rent, but we do not have parry yet, we just have momentum, It's pretty much it, a standard templar with a fucking grenade, and a Reaper, plus good old Central. Well, I guess that's uh, the kind of hand we are being dealt. Says Let's I make the best obey. out of it. Moving this year awfully order. smells like a stealth mission. I mean, our team is not really equipped to deal with three, uh, three armor turrets. We could get them down, but I somewhat have my doubts that that's the right strategy. I should be clear on this. Rescuing Shen was personal. She was our friend and part of the team. But from a strategic so, standpoint, rescuing Shen was a make or well, break operation for the future of the resistance. Without her, the Avenger would never I mean we do have a shrapnel mine. We wouldn't have half the code deal with the day. towers, I suppose. But it's not really a clever idea. Oh shit. Really? Prepare to fight. That's the most stupid idea ever. Like, quite literally ever. I just lectured about how that's not a good idea. Next thing you notice, we're running right into the towers. Wow, massive one shredding. So good. Well, here we go. I guess it's on. <laughs> this thing is even overwatching. Wow, nice. Another overwatch? No. Okay. Well number of resistance cells popping up around the world and our local operations to rebuild the Avenger the elders must have been getting nervous the new advent team was decent in combat but as we learned that wasn't their primary focus and they had been plenty busy um 
Well, we could kill the advent, uh, the advent captain here and get our asses into full cover. Towers have an atrocious aim. We don't need to kill them right away. They basically just quote unquote tank. Yeah, it's just one overwatch shot. Wait, wait a second. We could deal with that. Give me, a, give me a moment. Yeah, let's go. Nice one. Redford actually removed the whole tower from the game. Yes, Commander. This here will kill the captain. The next da most dangerous foe is the Sun Lancer. We are in full cover, so that's fine. I, I really don't think that we're supposed to fight this here, by the way. And there's the Sun Lancer. Red for Ooh. Almost. Don't you dare tr uh, triggering them as well. We kind of need a small break after this. Advent's new team was obviously hoping stealth and smaller numbers would keep their operations under wraps. We were just fortunate the few contacts we had made at that point managed to help us find Shen. It's not enough. It's one down. Very good. Back into cover again. Yeah, the problem is the last tower. And of course the peg over here. Hmm. How much is... Yeah, it's only three to four. We could stand on top here though, which would be a pretty decent aiming chance. And that's out of range of the tower. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh. Full cover. There we go. alive and ticking and surprisingly enough not much worse for wear i'll tell you what the alien sure could have learned a thing or two about interrogation techniques from our old friend dr valen good luck finding her though a righteous strike there we go Another one shot. I trust in your command. Back into cover. I've 
Moving over. And overwatching. Same here. I think I'm not playing the mission as it is intended to be played. The Advent compound was a clandestine holding facility, and it was definitely built to house a lot more people than Shen alone. They had obviously been at this for a while now. We found evidence of other prisoners, but no one left alive besides our girl. Roll it! Very nice. Very nice. So much for that. To victory. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm not sure how well we will deal against this full pack. Jen was held under some kind of psionic stasis for most of her time at the compound. But she was awake long enough to see a few of the other prisoners. She could tell by the condition they were in that they came from the slums outside of one of the city centers. If they were resistance cell leaders, we needed to find out. I'm out of here. I can cover it. So, we're pretty much injured. Move, it's on. I need to reload. If we could get her and have a four-man team, I think that Good that would allow us to actually take on these other guys. I'm going. Also, usually if you're rescuing uh, VIP of some sort, this here uh, would trigger an alarm. Going hard. I can make it. I see everything. Okay, that's not a bad idea. If we're overwatching here. What kind of door is that? So if we're overwatching here, we could start the encounter if they run into us. You ready for me? I'll get some. Well, it's a solid hit. Good job, buddy. Let's hit with a shotgun, please. Uh, wrong target for a shotgun hit, dude. Kill one of them right away. That's also a very solid hit. Problem is we would be exposed. That's well, a kill, not only a hit. That's most likely a kill.
we were moving in, that would definitely mean we're standing in the open and we can't do that. Hmm. How does this jump to the next unit? Okay, four to seven. That could kill him and deal damage to the next unit as well. That's not bad. If we were to hit it here. I mean, that's not bad. It could at least stasis him, deal substantial damage to him. If not, uh, kill it. Let's try this. This here could be a kill. So that's the only thing that I'm worried about. I mean, we can't just not go in, okay? Because he will move to us and both of them are one shots. If we go in, I will definitely kill him. And it's just one shot that we need to dodge. And we're standing in full cover, uh, in half cover here. So she has five. All right, if she has five hit points, if we put her into the open, she can take a shot. It's very unlikely that they crit for five. So let me put her here. So she's tanking for uh, for Bradford. No, 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 no. Close one. Shot the hell over here. Time to finish this guy. I'm pretty sure the mission is not supposed to be played that way. Plus we can now walk through the wall because we've just like obliterated it. I stalk my prey. Moving out. <laughs> you sneaky sneaky bastards. are we dealing with? Uh, the problem is the purifier, but if we could make the purifier explode, hmm, that'll be awesome. The rest is... the rest would take a lot of damage. As you order, Commander. So, how do we get there. I would say one good way of approaching them is via here, high ground, move here, half cover, approach them. I think that's smart.
Yeah, we don't want to disco uh, discover Reloading. us yet. Maybe we can actually I hit the purifier. Nice little crit. The crit would actually uh, kill him and the others uh, the others would take substantial damage so that's an opportunity I'd like to explore on my way and someone for the love of God could hand uh, uh, could hand mrs. Shen a weapon like any weapon would do. A pistol. Something that she could use. My watch. That's all. So the thing is, if we could blow up this guy, this whole, uh, this whole cluster would blow up, and we would be fine, pretty much. So what are we working with? In order to kill him, uh, we're looking at a 20% chance. That's not very reinsuring. Mm -mm. That's probably not going to work. I mean, one of the things that we could do is basically basically run in kill the sector and then get the hell out of here the sector however isn't a problem in the first turn we could kill one of these guys for sure and then get out of here how far can everyone move lily could get out Bradford. You know what? Maybe it's not the worst idea. We're just killing him. And uh, then directly going to evac. We're hitting the other guy with a melee attack. And then putting ourselves with uh, momentum so far away that the purifier can't hit us. We're going to shoot him once so that he'll focus on um, on the Reaper. Yeah, not a bad idea. Let's go. Again, probably not how this is supposed to be planned. Uh, how this is supposed to be played. If he moves, that's maybe a trigger for his Blade uh, Storm. Ooh, that's a good idea. I haven't thought about that before. There we go, Bladestorm. No! Bradford. Well, it's Evac.
So which direction do we want to go? This here is full cover. This guy will not be able to shoot us into full cover. Two madmen are just charging down. Basically ignoring everyone. Just running down and killing them. Lily Shen is okay there. Let's start revealing ourselves. Next turn, it's uh, you're done. No, oh, not even revealed. <laughs> Lily hunkers down. Come on, revive that guy. There you go, reanimate. Predictable, buddy. So predictable. He's going to move. Double move, probably. Single. Oh, we're in range. But he failed to hit, a, uh, to hit us. Good enough. Right. Moving in. Let's kill the purifier. Nice. Your friends will join you require a resupply. Yeah, that was okay. And here we go. going to kill the zombie <laughs> and yeah I think we did it a bit different than it is supposed to be done instead of just moving in I think we mercilessly slaughtered every single one Yep, there is no more enemy unit left over. So we factually we really shorted everyone. We still had to get clear of the advent facility. That's almost thirty thousand for the first mission. But no one was blaming her for what happened. Not sure how many points we would have gotten if we would have played it by the book. Probably more, because we've taken a lot of time. But we also killed 15 enemies with three soldiers. So much, by the way, for, uh, for um, XCOM is weaker or the enemy is always stronger. We just fought battles all the time against enemies that were... Um, having we a number advantage. The extraction team across the continent in hopes of finding their other prisoners. We are going to need some better equipment. Yeah, we're going to go with uh, the ammunition in the hopes that we're, we'll get more units. This year is all nice and good, but I think we're going with um, with ammunition this time. Got ourselves uh, Lily. Really failed to get some ammunition. That sucks. I was hoping she would get uh, blue screen rounds. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. She again uh, skills deeply into uh, combat protocol. Amplify aftershock. It's the same uh, build before, and he's uh, the reaper is going to be a pseudo sniper all right here we go guys Shen was pretty out of it most of her time with Advent but she swore up and down that she had heard something about the aliens moving people by train 
With that in mind, we were able to narrow down the locations where Advent was actively moving trains near the city center slums. We didn't know who we might find down there, but it was up to us to defend anyone willing to stand with the Resistance. Who would have guessed it would end up being one of XCOM's greatest heroes? Mm -hmm. I don't even know her. Jane Kelly. We're in concealment. I think she could have been one of the XCOMs. Jen was right. Advent's extraction team had pulled a train right into the slums outside the city mm -hmm. and were using it as a prison on wheels. Whoever they were holding was obviously pretty important, so we figured it was probably best to get them on our side. So we're looking at 55,000 uh, points that we could get in this specific scenario. But that's going to happen next turn, uh, next time. If you liked uh, the alternative way of doing an extraction mission, uh, aka Brute Force, give it a thumbs up and see you in the next mission.